I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll discuss a different technique to solve equation of line find intercepts and slope the question here is solve each equation of y in terms of x state the x intercept y intercept and the slope of the graph of each we have two examples one is 8x minus 10y equals to 20 the other one is in decimals 0.25x plus 0.5y equals to 1. So let's begin with a simpler one first, uh, which has whole numbers in it. 8x minus 10y equals to 10, equals to 20. We need to find x and y intercepts. So let's write down x intercept. I'm writing in short and y intercept. What is x intercept? x intercept is a point where the graph crosses x axis and at that point we know y equals to 0. So in the given equation if I write y is 0 what do I get? I get 8x minus 10 times 0 equals to 20 that is 8x equals to 20 or x is equals to 20 divided by 8 right. Uh, we could divide both by 4 or uh, we can get 5 over 2, right? Okay, dividing both by 4, we get 5 over 2. So we got the x-intercept. Now, let us find the y-intercept. What is y-intercept? y-intercept is a point where the graph crosses x-axis. So at that point, x equals to 0. If I substitute 0 here, I get 0 minus 10y equals to 20 or y equals to 20 divided by minus 10 and so we get y equals to minus 2. So we have our x and y intercepts. It's good to write them as coordinates. So I'll write down here x intercept is minus 5 over 2. You could write 2.5 also. 0 and the y intercept is 0 minus 2. Is it okay? So we have both x and y intercepts. Writing this means x intercept, right? Now we have to find the slope. How do you find the slope? Best way to find slope is write the equation in slope intercept form. Uh, slope intercept y intercept that is form. And what is this y intercept form? The equation is of the form of y equals to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is y intercept okay so we need to rearrange so that we get we can isolate y that's the whole idea since minus 10 is with y i'll take that on the other side and i write this as 8x minus 20 equals to 10y now we can divide by y so we get 8 over 10x minus 20 over 10 equals to y and so we can write y equals 2 simplifying this dividing both by 2 will give us 4 over 5x right and that is minus 2 so from this equation we can write down what is slope and what is y intercept y intercept we have already found minus 2 it matches do you see that so this value minus 2 matches y intercept let's write down slope now slope is 4 over 5 m so slope which is m is equals to 4 over 5 it is always good to write 4 over 5 as it is going to help you to sketch the graph as an exercise, you should sketch the graph of this function, this linear equation. Okay. Now let's follow these techniques with the numbers given here. These are decimal numbers. You might need a calculator at times. Okay. So let's begin. Same process. X-intercept, which basically means y equals to 0, right? So if I substitute y0, it's kind of hiding this, right? So you get... 0.25x equals to 1 and you can calculate correct so let me write down so what we get here is 
x and this is let me write plus 0 right equals to 1 or we can say x is equals to 1 divided by 0 0.25 now how much is that if the calculator is not allowed we can actually write this as 100 over 25 right writing decimals multiply both by 100 so get rid of decimals and you know what this is 100 divided by 25 is 4 quarters so we get 4 as the value of x right use calculator then also you'll get the same answer now let's find y intercept so so let me do this time x and y intercept here itself we'll do y intercept that means x is equals to 0 so I'll equate x as 0 and then continue so we have 0 plus 0 0.5 y equals to 1 or we can say y equals to 1 divided by 0 0.5 which you could write as 10 over 5. Do you see that? Whenever you have decimals, and if you are not using calculator, it's better to get rid of decimals by multiplying by powers of 10. So we have y equals to 2. And therefore, we can now write down our x and y intercepts. So this could be written as a point, which is 4, 0, y, 0. And this could be written as a point as 0, 2, correct? So we get the y-intercept for the second equation. So we have both x and y-intercepts. And now we'll rearrange to write it in slope-intercept form. So let this be rearrange part in y equals to mx plus b form, slope-intercept form. So we'll basically isolate y. Taking 0.25x to the right will give us 0.5y equals to minus 0.25x plus 1. Now we'll divide by 0.5. So y equals to minus 0.25 divided by 0.5x plus 1 divided by 0.5. Correct? So we get y equals to, so you can use calculator also. So if you divide, it's like, think like this. Think like this. Do you make a sense? 25 divided by 50 is kind of half, right? So we can write this as minus half x. And 0.5 is half, so it is plus 2. Correct? So once you get used to decimals, it will be very easy. Here we did 10 divided by, 1 divided by 0.5 is 10 divided by 5, which is 2, right? So that is what we have. And this helps you to check your results also. So from here, we can write down what slope is. So we get slope, which is m, is equals to minus half. So that is the slope for us, right? So I hope with this you understand how we can find x and y intercepts and slope from the given linear equation. Remember, for x intercept, we have to equate y equals to 0. And just hide, divide by the coefficient of x. For y-intercept, hide x, divide by the coefficient of y. For slope, rearrange, write in y equals to mx plus b, m is the slope. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please share your comments and suggestions. Thank you and all the best.